Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we are here with a chaining guide for old school runescape in my endless adventure to make as many guides as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like. Also got plenty of links so you can check me and the community out down below. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So to start, should you chin in the first place? I think that this is a good question to ask because there's a couple different answers. It is amazing for range XP, so that's why a lot of people want to come here. We'll talk more about the rates here in a little bit, but I'll also say it is somewhat unnecessary in the sense that you'll do a lot of range training through your PVM adventures. So you don't don't want to in my opinion get up to 99 i think getting up to 85 90 95 range those are good milestones but you don't have to go all out with it because you do spend a lot of money here so that's something to consider your bank is going to be very important when you consider how far you want to go down this journey so i think it's good for getting that initial boost towards a late game pvm however i wouldn't recommend to do it fully all the way to 99 as far as the requirements you're going to need monkey madness to at least partially done up until the point at which you've unlocked the lower area of apatol i'd recommend just completing the quest because there's nothing worse than going back to a quest that you have halfway done it's just terrible but you do what you want beyond that 43 prayer is going to be a necessity and also a lot of money for red chins or black chins or whatever you're using for the xp per hour here at level 80 range this is about what you can expect anywhere from 460 to 650k per hour depending on the chin type that you're going to use most people prefer to use red chins and that's what i'd recommend even if you have a lot of money I, i'm not sure it's best off being put into black chins probably better just to save that money and put it into gear later in the game and great chin chompas are a really really good method if you're strapped on cash but looking for some range xp so that's good as well and then for high levels if you're at 95 range this is what you can expect per hour so it does get quite up there anywhere from 500k to 800k depending on again what type of chin you're using but as you can see i mean it's not a massive difference between each each one like a 20% upgrade going from one chin to the other the current GP per hour that you'd have to spend to use each type of chin is listed below between 1.2 and 5.5 mil so this is why I really don't recommend black chins because yeah you get like a 15 20 percent upgrade in xp per hour but it comes at two almost three times the cost of red chins so that's just really not worth it in my opinion the difference between gray chins and red chins is somewhat substantial um so if you find yourself a little strapped on cash again go for gray chins it's a perfectly viable option for the range gear here i have three different setups a cheap a max and a prayer base setup you can choose what you want to go for it down there um one thing i will say is if you don't have void i'd highly 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 recommend it but you could come here with blessed dehyde if you wanted to or even black dehyde if for some reason you had to do that your xp per hour is going to be substantially less though so at the end of the day i really recommend void you'll have to get it at some point in the game so it is well worth doing now and the cheap setup nothing too crazy going on there just some nice affordable gear and mostly some prayer bonus as well going along with that prayer bonus is huge here because you're going to be really far away from a bank so you're going to want to use that the monsters you'll be killing and the maniacal monkeys will drop prayer potions but the lower that your prayer bonus is the more you'll have to pick those potions up the less you'll be attacking so essentially having higher prayer bonus is better for your xp per hour than having more dps in most scenarios the max setup in the middle is essentially what i'd bring if i had a good amount of bank in my favor honestly it's not even that expensive i mean it's it's a little pricey but compared to what most max setups in the game look like that's very affordable and then the prayer base setup on the far right hand side if you just really want to be here for some long trips I would definitely recommend that and then for the inventory we have two different ways that you can go about it if you have more of a range base setup then you could go for the one on the left where you have a lot of prayer potions if you have more of a prayer base setup you can go for the one on the right where you have a lot of range and stamina potions the three items on the top of the inventory are a lantern some teleports to your house and a holy wrench beyond that you're going to need range potions to up your levels stamina to run back and forth to group the monkeys that you'll be killing and some prayer potions as well for the prayer potions it's a little weird because technically you don't need to bring any you'll get them from killing the monkeys but if you want to lessen the workload on yourself you can bring more prayer potions and that's really up to you so now to get on over to where we need to beat the chin so to start i'm going to go to my house and in my house i have a nice little jewelry box that i'll use to teleport to the duel arena find your way on over to the gnome gliders one way or another this is my preferred method if you have a royal seed pod you could use that and then bank in the second floor of the tree gnome village if you'd like but i'm gonna go ahead and glider on over to this little monkey that you'll see in the bottom left hand corner so click on that and then you'll head on over to apatol from there head directly south and you'll see this little door that you can investigate from there go ahead and climb on down once you're down here then go ahead and run to the south a good bit 
Um, right on past here, you'll see the beginning of what is the little maze that you would have had to have done during Monkey Madness 2. Your path will be the same, so you have a distinct path that you have to follow. Um, I'll go ahead now and throw the map up on screen in case you are unaware in terms of where you have to go. So try out those paths until you find one that works for you. I'm going to show you an example of what happens if you go down the wrong path. So right here, I'll climb on the support and uh, it's going to say that something feels wrong about this route. So from there, you'll be sent down below and make sure to throw on your protect melee. That way you don't die. A very important aspect of chinning is to not die. Obviously, that's important in all senses of the game. But if you die with chins on you, you will lose all of your chins. They will just escape and run free. So... Don't bring too many chins. One thing I would recommend, be careful with how you go about that and make sure you bring enough that you feel comfortable uh, losing as well. So I'm going about it this route, just figure out whichever way you have to go from there to be able to maneuver to the final little area. So I've navigated a few traps, really nothing too crazy on my route over here. If you are going down the wrong route, again, it'll tell you that you are. So you might fail something that's nothing to be scared about as long as it doesn't tell you that you're going down the wrong path, you're perfectly fine. Just keep on trying. And after just four or five obstacles, managed to make my way on over to the soul. So from here, you can go ahead and look in and see if there are any people in. Usually there are, and you have to hop quite a bit. Luckily, uh, no one's in this world. So let's go ahead and hop on down. Make sure you're protecting melee and throw on your red chins to medium fuse. From there, you're going to want to walk to the north and take this northern route and continue on a good bit to the east. And then we'll find a large room with quite a lot of maniacal monkeys in here. And as you can see, here we are in the room. So what you're going to want to do is just stand in the middle. I mean, they have a very wide aggro range, as you can see. There's so many of them. And then head on over to this corner right here. Throw on your auto retaliate and you'll start throwing. And from there, essentially just walk back and forth. Just throwing once on every click like this will get them to stack up. That way you can get the most amount of range XP and constantly have a lot of them in one pile. You could also go with this section of the wall right here. Essentially anywhere on this little corner will work. See like over here, they'll stack up quite a bit. So that's why it's important just to keep on moving back and forth. Because if you didn't do this, there will be times where you're not attacking the appropriate amount of monsters. And it really is this simple. The only thing you're going to want to be on the lookout for is you do get prayer potions like this one down below your feet that you can just constantly sort of pick up. As you can see, I got one right there, got one right there, got one over here too. So they drop a lot of prayer potions. You're really not going to have to worry about it at all. And really from there, it is as simple as just running back and forth and farming in constant XP. Like I showed before, the XP per hour here is pretty absurd. So... I personally think it's worth it, honestly. Um, red chins bounce around a good bit in price. Right now, they're about 1.1 to 1.2K. In the past, they've been as low as seven to 800 whenever I think bots were very prevalent. So I personally think it's well worth doing. Of course, again, it depends on your bank, but always make sure that your prayer is quite high because again, that's really the only thing you need to worry about here. If your prayer does drop, there obviously are a ton of monkeys that are attacking you and that could very easily go downhill and result in you losing, you know, a mil to a few mil worth of chinchon which is very painful but that is going to be it as far as this chinchampa guide goes so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like on top of that if you want to see videos like this as soon as they go live make sure to subscribe and with that said hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh peace